Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. Today I'm actually going to be going over 10 hidden features that the average user probably does not know about in macOS 10.7 Lion. So guys, the first hidden feature is actually in QuickTime Player. So if you go ahead and open up a clip in QuickTime Player or after you're done recording one, you can actually scroll over it and then click this little option right there, scroll down and there's actually a new trim option where you can actually trim all of your clips straight from QuickTime X and then click trim when you're done. The next hidden feature is actually in Spotlight. If you go ahead and type in something in Spotlight and you get a result that's something like a document, you can actually highlight over the document and now you actually have a nice and large preview window where you can scroll up and down to see the preview of the actual window. The next two hidden features are actually in Mission Control. If you go ahead and click the F3 button on your keyboard and open up Mission Control and you have something like I do where there's more than one document and it might be a little bit hard to see which one you want, you can actually highlight over them and scroll with two fingers up and your documents will now be in a much larger view. Next up, you can actually go ahead and take a uh, different page. You can actually drag it to the top right corner and this will actually create a new virtual desktop which is kind of like spaces in previous versions of Mac OS X. The next set of features is actually in the mail application. There's a completely redone design with the mail application. However, if you don't like it, you can actually go ahead and scroll to mail on the top, then click preferences then scroll over to viewing and you actually can enable the classic layout which you will now see the old mail layout. The next new hidden feature is actually in Launchpad. After you're done installing an application from the Mac App Store and you actually go ahead and open up Launchpad, you guys can actually jiggle an application by holding down on your mouse and you can delete all Mac App Store applications straight from Launchpad with a little X kind of like on iOS. So just like that, I can now delete the Twitter application I just downloaded from the Mac App Store. The next new hidden feature is that there's actually full screen mode on a lot of applications on Mac OS 10.7 Lion. So what you want to do is open up an application, then if you see this icon on the top right corner, this icon means it will go into full screen. So basically you click this icon right there, and now your application is in full screen, and if you want to get out, basically just scroll up to the top and click the icon again. The next new hidden feature is that there's actually a new feature in Mac OS 10.7 Lion called Resume. What this does is basically after you close an application and you open it back up, for example, I have a text edit here with hi and I close it and I open it up even without saving, you guys will actually see the document right there again without having to do anything. The next new hidden feature is actually in Photo Booth. There's two new really cool effects called Love Struck and Dizzy and something people don't really know about these is that the effects actually do use facial tracking. So basically if you go ahead and move your head around, they will actually follow you. So guys, the 10th and final new hidden feature in macOS 10.7 Lion is actually called Versions. And this kind of combines with autosave, so I guess you guys are getting 11 new features in this video. Uh, but basically, if you have a document that you've saved more than one time, basically what you want to do is scroll over the title of it. So I'm in text edit, I scroll over the title, and I can actually click this little arrow and then click Browse All Versions. And then it'll open up in a full screen mode. I can look at all the different versions of my save and I can scroll right here on the right side, select one, then basically restore to it. And now I'm on an older version of the document. So guys, if this video helped you guys out, be sure to leave a like rating below and subscribe. Thanks all for watching.